Hi, this is David with Stormore Sheds, and we just want to show you a custom greenhouse we just finished for one of our customers. Now, this customer happens to have a great passion for gardening, and they definitely have a green thumb. If you look around their property, you will see as we do this tour, they've got tomato plants and grapes and potatoes and corn and all the things that every gardener would love. So this customer approached us and they wanted a different style greenhouse, not just something that we just put together real fast, but something we took our time with and made customized to their needs. So let me give you a tour of what we have going on here. This spot that we built this greenhouse in happened to have a nine by 10 concrete slab that was already here existing that we wanted to place this greenhouse on. So we used a pressure treated bottom plate around the perimeter that we could anchor to that slab and seal it real nice so that water couldn't make its way in and out of the building. And then for the framing on this, instead of just your traditional dug fir lumber, we went with a, a, spruce, a spruce pine fir that was rough sawn. So it kind of had like a cedar effect to it. It also had a primer coating on it. So it gave it kind of that uh, rustic look and not just traditional studs. And then when we were framing this, we went ahead and instead of doing a traditional engineered truss system with metal plates, we used a ridge and beam uh, hand stacked roof system. So we put a two by eight ridge beam right here. And then we ran two by eight uh, roof joists that we were able to dado in uh, some one by four stripping for the polycarbonate to rest and be secured. And so if you look at the frame, you can appreciate uh, kind of the uniqueness of it, kind of has a, a, a nice, nice look to it. And then coming into the functionality of this building, uh, our customer was definitely concerned about ventilation, which you have to be in these greenhouses. So we went ahead and we put four, uh, three four by three windows that all open and close. So on those hot summer days, they can open those up, get cool air in, let hot air out. And then uh, in the front gable end, we used a, uh, just a traditional gable vent to let hot air out, let cool air in. And then on the back side of this building, we used a louvered vent that functions by the, air, the flow of air, and we installed a solar fan that comes on when the building reaches 75 degrees, comes on automatically, extracts hot air from the building, and it doesn't come on unless it reaches that high temperature. So this is uh, the inside of the building. The other thing we did was we did some uh, horseshoe-shaped cedar benches all the way around, so you've got benches on each side of the building, then on the back for you to be able to put your plants on and do your pottery and bring in uh, plants when it's cold out or hot out and meet all those needs. So let's walk outside the building now and take a look what we have going on here. This is a four by six uh, custom Dutch door that we built for this customer. Now the Dutch door operates as one single door where you can open and close it or you can open it up and you can remove this barrel bolt right here and the door can function as two pieces. So if you're working in your building and you didn't want like your, maybe your dog to get in there with you or cats to get in, you could close the bottom half and you can leave the top half open so you can get more of that airflow in this building as it needs a lot of airflow because the greenhouses get very hot on those hot summer days. The other thing we did was we put a window in the top half of this just for cosmetics because we were really wanting this building to pop. One of the other ways it popped is this customer happened to be a stone mason. And so they put a stone wainscoting on each side of the, the door to kind of bring in that cool uh, custom effect. And this customer brought in some old world bricks and stone mix to, to uh, bring, that, uh, bring that customized look to it. Um, so when we look at the rest of this building walking around it, Besides the stone's wainscoting, we used a James Hardy uh, paneling for the bottom half of the building, and that helps weigh it down and give the building some sustenance and structure. And then on the upper half, we used a twin wall polycarbonate. Now the twin wall polycarbonate, you can get it in six mil, you can get it in eight mil, you can get it in 10 mil. This one happens to be a six mil. Some of our customers like to go with the eight mil or the 10 mil product for a little thicker um, uh, uh, walling on the, on the, that's been attached to the studs. So then as we go up, we basically just took that, attached it to the studs, and then we used some uh, nice trimming details around the building to give it kind of a clean look. We also carried that polycarbonate plastic right up the roof we attach that with metal roofing uh, screws so that they have a watertight seal. 
And then we went ahead and we used metal edging all the way around the roof line and then capped off that uh, top with a metal piece just to give it a, a clean uh, water tight seal. And just to finish up, I'll, we'll just take one last look at the solar fan right here. This is where those louvers will um, open and close depending on when that solar fan kicks on. And then if you look over here on this side, you'll see where we anchored that solar panel to the roof. So this is our nine by 10 custom greenhouse built by Stormore Sheds and we have one happy customer.